Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog in beautiful Italy today. We are in Venice and um, we are just getting our day started. I think it's like nine o'clock now or something, or I don't know, 8.45 or something. And we're having breakfast at this little cafe right around the corner where our hotel is. And then we're gonna go into the center, check out Venice. And I think we're gonna do some boat riding today with the Vaporetto, which is the, the public boats that go around Venice. So I have a cafe latte, almond croissant. That's gonna be our little breakfast for the morning. So we are uh, on the Vaporetto, that's that loud sound you're hearing. We're on a little boat, basically. It's the public um, boats that run all around um, Venice. It's basically like the buses, <laughs> but they're all on the water. So we bought a day pass. The day pass costs 20 euros for a single day. And we are just gonna use boats to drive around Venice because yesterday like the last stop on the number one boat and um, we found this little cute little cafe here and we are just having a quick bite of lunch. I'm having an aubergine parmigiano over here I think it's called and the um, lasagna and a Coke Zero. So that's gonna be my lunch. It was time for some gelati. They're literally on every street corner and I can't resist, it's so good. Chocolate chip mint on the bottom and the top one is um, pistachio. Oh my God, it's so good. The gelati here is amazing. All right, we are back on the boat, driving uh, back to Venice. We were actually on Lido, which is another little sandy um, island. We go to Morano, which is another little island off Venice. And it's supposed to be really, really beautiful there as well. Almost kind of looks a little bit like Venice. So cute. I totally recommend getting the day pass if you are in Venice for a few days. Get the day pass for the Vaporetto and then take the boats everywhere because you can really check everything out. Murano, my hair is looking very windswept. Murano is known for the Venetian glass blowing, so there's a lot of the Venetian glass if you want to buy that here. This is kind of what it's famous for, all this glass stuff. Not really my taste, but it's beautiful. Um, pathway in Murano, so it kind of looks like a little bit like Venice, like a miniature version of Venice. It's beautiful. So we've been walking around Murano a little bit. We had a little bit of a stop, we sat on a dock and enjoyed sights. And I think now we're gonna hop back onto the Vaporetto, maybe do a little tour around the island, but then we're gonna go to the next one, which is Murano. To be really, really nice there, and the, I think all the houses there are supposed to be really brightly colored. So, I think that's what we're gonna do now because we're a little bit tired and it's very hot. We just spent about half an hour on a sweaty, crowded boat. It's over there, you can see people disembarking. Pack like sardines for like half an hour, it goes so slowly. Almost no wind. Wow, that was, <laughs> that was a long ride. Um, so, now we are in Burano, which is one of the little so we were in Murano before, now we're in Burano.
Murano. We went through the main street. I'm getting a little pissed off, to be honest. A little ticked off. I'm in this little cafe. Nothing fancy, just like an ugly, plain cafe. We ordered a, a cappuccino and a Fanta. It wasn't even a big size. It was like a tiny bottle of Fanta. It was eight euros. And then I go to the bathroom. There's not even any soap in the bathroom. I feel, honestly, I'm starting to feel a little bit ripped off. I mean, I know this is like a touristy place, but like seriously, eight euros for like a little cappuccino and a Fanta that was like tiny. Just leaves like a bad taste in my mouth, to be honest. I don't like it when I feel I'm being taken advantage of, you know what I mean? But look at this. on this beautiful harbor of um, Burano. The sun has just set. We took some Instagram photos. Now we're having some beers. Just regular beers. This is like Italian beer. Guess how much this cost? 10 euros. 10 euros for two bottles of beer. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. So after this, we are gonna go back to Venice, which I think Venice must be what way back there. I totally forgot to film. We got off the Bacoretto and we're super hungry, so we found a little restaurant. We're having um, pizza and a nice pizzeria here. So, what we did is we ordered two different kinds of pizzas and then we just did half half. And we're having a little bit of the, the house wine. Good morning, everyone. Bright and early. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. We got off this morning at about 7 10 or something in the morning. We're going to be visiting the um, Palazzo Ducale, which is the Do Doge, Doge, Doge Palace. I don't know how to say it, but anyways, the Palazzo Ducale is this big palace here in Venice. It's quite expensive, so we want to make sure that we get tickets so we don't have to stand in line and then also we don't see the palace when it's like stuffed full of people today. The weather is not so great today, it might rain, so we're thinking probably a lot of people are going to be visiting museums and stuff today because it's, yeah, if it's raining and stuff. So we are actually taking the boat again to There's actually not that many people around yet. So it's kind of nice to have Venice all yourself. We're now inside the Palazzo Ducale and it's amazing. I definitely recommend to get here early. You can pre-book your tickets, but if you just come early in the morning, it's no problem. We came here right when it opened at 8.30 and we got in and we also got the audio guide um, because there's so much history and I don't want to just like walk through and not really know what I'm looking at. The audio guide is five euros. It's basically like a little phone. It's a Huawei phone. You just listen to it. It's cool. The courtyard right now. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. Wow. Very cool. We're going up now the golden staircase. <gasps> I think my head is going to get sore from always looking up. Look at how ornate it is. Wow. This is crazy. This <laughs> it's just crazy how much back then the rulers spent on themselves and their palaces and they just let the, the normal people rot in their you know what I mean? Like all the money, the state money was spent on building these crazy palaces and I am now in the chamber of the great council. So this is I think the biggest and sort of most impressive room in this palace. I'm near the back, not totally the back, but look at that, it's huge. That's up there, the throne over there. And then there's just paintings, paintings everywhere just depicting various scenes and then, oh my god, this ceiling. <clears throat> god, this 
This prison is so depressing. Can only imagine how many people were locked up in here. These dark, dank rooms down here. It's huge, actually. I'm on like the third level or something. Ugh, I wonder how many people were locked up in these cages. So we just came out of the Dogue Palace and I totally recommend if you are in Venice, you want to do it, be the first in line at 8.30 because when we came out, the lineup for all the, all the museum around there are basically around the block so we're going to be waiting in line for hours. We're just doing a little bit of walking. We are, we've already picked up our picked out our lunch spot. We're going on a little walk. Oh, look, the guy was playing. He's hard. Cute. found a little bridge with no tourists on it. <laughs> pretty crazy. Yay! Getting lunch. Little, uh, so I have a bowl here. I've got a Greek salad bowl, which is pretty deep actually. And then I have a thing of um, tomato pasta. This is from Tutti in Piedi. It's all made fresh. Good morning everyone. Today is actually already the day after my last um, filming episode and I forgot to film my finish my vlog. We actually went out for sushi because we needed a little bit of a break from the Italian pasta and stuff. We are actually just now at our hotel. I'm getting packed up and we are heading to Bologna today and I don't think I'm going to be doing any more vlogging actually in Bologna. I want to just enjoy the rest of my vacation. So I'm going to be doing some Insta stories from Bologna and all the other places we went to on this trip. Um, you can check out my Instagram. It's Hello Julia Graf. Follow me on Instagram and then you can go to my um, highlights there. I think it's, I think I called it Italy Road Trip and you can check out all my Insta stories from Italy and because I posted a lot more content there so go check that out. And if you do want to see more vlogs, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click the um, notification bell right beside and then make sure you turn on all notifications for my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you guys for watching and I uh, will see you soon. Bye!